Well, I can tell you this. As of Friday night, we learned that the jury was 10 to 2 for voluntary manslaughter. Um, there were still three or four that were willing to go to murder. Joe Dieter says the majority of jurors wanted some sort of conviction for Ray Tenzing. Dieter says that came into play when deciding on whether to retry the former UC police officer who shot and killed Sam DeBose during a traffic stop. Dieter's decision, no surprise for defense attorney Stu Matthews, who says you can throw politics into the mix as well. I think absolutely politics came into play. Uh, you know, from the moment the mistrial, or from within minutes of the declaration of mistrial, we had City Hall down there having a press conference saying that we've got to get a conviction in this case and Joe better retry it. He's just wrong. That's not true. The charges against Ray Tenzing will be the same, murder and voluntary manslaughter. The venue could be different. If we're successful in moving this trial to another jurisdiction out of this media market, uh, I think that our arguments will be much more persuasive. Dieter's request for a change of venue would have to be granted by Judge Megan Shanahan. Will Stu Matthews fight it? At this point, I, I'm not going to commit whether we want a change of venue or not, but I am leaning toward saying I'd rather keep it here in Hamilton County since we successfully picked a jury the last time. And I asked Stu Matthews if there's a chance Tenzing could just plead in this case and avoid a trial altogether. But Matthews says a plea has never been discussed. He says one thing is certain, Tenzing will not plead guilty to murder, and he doesn't anticipate Dieters would offer anything less. Reporting live downtown tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, quickly getting back to the change of venue here, would it have to be the same size city as Cincinnati, or where can they move it to if that would be agreed upon by the judge? Well, you know, Sheree, it could be moved to anywhere in the state. I know Dieters during his press conference, he said he would like to have it in Columbus or even Cleveland, but it's not up to him. First, Judge Megan Shanahan would have to grant the motion for a change of venue. Then it would be up to her to figure out where to hold it. All right, Back to you. And we should mention that the prosecutor himself can't remember a case being granted a change of venue since he's been prosecutor even before. All right, Karen Johnson live for us. Karen, thank you.